Hey guys, it's Denver, or sometimes known as Misty Valley Paramount. I'm back because you guys loved my last haul so much, so let's do another one again. For complete details of what I did use today, make sure you check out my blog, which is bydenver.com. All the information and details will be provided. If you want to stay completely in touch with me, make sure you go to my Facebook, which is facebook.com slash mistyvalley, or also go to my Twitter account, which is twitter.com slash bydenver. This one is mainly Mac focused, once again, now that I do have my Pro Discount card, it is very convenient to purchase things for less expensive than what they normally are, and less expensive than what some other brands are. So to get started with, I did buy some Mac eyeshadows. This one is called Swish. This one is called Rice Paper. And this is number 93 by Makeup Forever, which is that color there. I also got a few pigments. This one is called Old Gold. This one is called Melon, which is the second one there. And the last one is called Pink Bronze, which is that one there, which is the third one right here. I also got five mineralized eyeshadows. This one is called Blue Sheen, with pinks of blue and pink and black, and it looks like that. This one is called Dark Indulgence, which looks like that. This one is called Smoked Ruby which looks like that. This one is called Faux Gold, which looks like that. And the last one is called Quartz Fusion, which looks like that there. Out of the five mineralized eyeshadows that I did buy, Quartz Fusion, this one here, is very much like forgery. It is very coarse and very gritty. It may not be the best to constantly sweep over the eye. It may be something that you just pack on. That way you get to true to life color, just like it is in here. For Makeup Forever, I got a couple of their new liquid liners that they have. I got black or what is number one three and I'll show you what that one looks like. Now the only downside to this applicator is it's very hard so when you're putting it around the eye it is very not delicate and is not good for sensitive eyes. Also when the product gets into the eye it actually burns. Maybe it's just me, maybe I just have sensitive eyes, I don't know. From the same eyeliners I got number five. This is the bright blue that is in the actual image from Sephora on Makeup Forever and that is that color there for you. Same thing with the brush, it's identical to the one for the black. I did actually get a pencil for Makeup Forever as well. This is what it looks like here. I love it. It's very metallic. It's a darker blue. And this is number 15L. Part of Mac's new collection, I did get this, which is semi-precious, crystal pink. It actually show you the different colors. It has a champagne color around the outside and then a pinkish bronze with a little bit of silver on the inside. And just to show you what that all looks like together, there's just that there. This is a champagne color, which I absolutely love, and this is just the inside. I also got two Studio Fix foundations. One is NC15, one is NC50. Four brushes. I got the number 231, which is this one here, which is great for either putting concealer around the edge of the lips for dark or smudging underneath the eye. I also got an all over eyeshadow brush and this is actually number 235. Half of it is synthetic, half of it is natural hair. So it's great to put a highlighter underneath your brow or to put an all over color on your lid. The two brushes that I'm going to demo my foundation with include Max number 130 which is this one here. It is the shortest dual fiber stippling brush that they have and also I got the number 109 which is this one here which is perfect for either applying your contour and blending it out or anything else that you may use as a powdered foundation brush it is perfect as well. So using the NC15 and the number 130 I'm going to just do a quick demo for you and it is very pigmented the foundation is and the brush actually provides a perfectly smooth finish. You can buff it in, you could do whatever it is you wish to do. Using NC50 with the 109, I'm going to lightly put that in, and more so on the edge of the brush, and I'm going to pull this down here. Once again, you can see how rich in color the foundation is itself, and the brush is perfect, a perfect size to fit over here, either on the corner, and then to help buff it out.
I also got two mascaras to try out, and these are actual size mascaras. I did buy them. One is called Fairy Drops, which is, this is the packaging here, so it's very neat and cute. And then the wand actually is like this here. So it's round, it's curved. You're meant to go like this on your eyes and like this to fan them through, and then down to actually, actually de-clump them and make them separate. So I've tried it. It does curl the lashes a lot, which is what I love, hence the curved wand. And it also, the only thing I didn't like is it seemed to clump the lashes together a lot more than what I wanted to. What I was looking for was a liquid mascara. This is close, but it's still not perfect. I want something that adds no volume at all, because as most of you know, I have a lot of volume to my lashes as it is. I also got Urban Decay's Super Curl Curling Mascara, which is this one here. And once again, the same reason, this one is a little bit thinner of a formula and does not cause the lashes to curl as much. It's a rounded brush, or a curved brush, once again. And once again, you go up like this, and it gives them the curl that you're looking for, and then like this, to separate. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that haul, and until my next videos, I hope you all have amazing days. Bye.